He is known for his contributions to the American musical theater. He wrote the scores for 15 musicals, including Cabaret and Chicago. His name is John Harold Kander. In the world of musical theater, one name stands out, John Harold Kander, a legendary American composer whose melodies have captivated audiences for decades. Born into a musical family in Kansas City, Missouri, Kander's passion for music blossomed at a young age. As he grew older, his talent became undeniable, and he set out to make his mark in the world of entertainment. Kander's breakthrough came when he formed a dynamic songwriting partnership with Fred Ebb, a talented lyricist. Together, they became known as Kander and Ebb, a powerhouse duo that would go on to create some of the most iconic musicals in history. Their collaboration resulted in the creation of 15 musicals, each showcasing Kander's gift for crafting unforgettable melodies. One of their most well-known works is the critically acclaimed musical Cabaret. Set in 1930s Berlin, the show explores the nightlife of the era while addressing the rise of the Nazi party. Kander's score for Cabaret not only captured the essence of the time period but also perfectly complemented Ebb's poignant lyrics. The show's success led to a film adaptation that further solidified Kander's reputation as a musical genius. Another masterpiece created by Kander and Ebb is the beloved musical Chicago. Set in the roaring 1920s, the show tells the story of two murderesses and their quest for fame. With its jazzy tunes and catchy melodies, Chicago became an instant hit, earning numerous awards and accolades. The show's success was later amplified when it was adapted into a highly acclaimed film. But perhaps one of Kander's most enduring compositions is the iconic song, New York, New York. Originally written for the film of the same name, the song became a beloved anthem for the city that never sleeps. With its lively tempo and optimistic lyrics, New York, New York, has become a symbol of the city's indomitable spirit. John Kander's contributions to the world of musical theater are immeasurable. His ability to create melodies that resonate with audiences, combined with his collaborative spirit, has solidified his place as a true legend in the industry. His compositions, such as Cabaret, Chicago, and New York, New York, have not only entertained audiences but have also left a profound impact on the field of music. John Kander's legacy will continue to inspire generations of composers and theater lovers alike. John Kander, born on March 18, 1927, in Kansas City, Missouri, grew up in a loving, middle-class Jewish family. He had a close bond with his older brother, Edward, and their family's love of singing around the piano sparked John's early interest in music. In fact, his first composition, A Christmas Carol, was written during second-grade mathematics class. His teacher was so impressed that she asked his parents for permission to use the song, despite the irony of John being Jewish. This early encouragement fueled John's passion for music. At the age of nine, John had a transformative experience when he attended his first opera performances in Kansas City. The grand productions of Ida and Madama Butterfly left a lasting impression on him. Sitting in the first row with his mother, he was overwhelmed by the larger-than-life characters on stage, even though he could see the strings holding the beards of the Egyptian soldiers. These early experiences of storytelling through music would shape John's future as a composer. After attending Westport High School and Pembroke Country Day School, John joined the U.S. Merchant Marine Cadet Corps during World War II. He completed his training in California and sailed between San Francisco and Asia. However, due to changes in national service rules, John was forced to enlist in the Army Reserves in 1946. Despite already starting his studies at the Oberlin Conservatory of Music, he had to serve in the Army Reserves. During the Korean War, he was ordered back into active duty but was later medically discharged due to lung scars. Undeterred by his military service, John pursued his musical education. He graduated from Oberlin College with a degree in music in 1951 and continued his studies at Columbia University. At Columbia, he had the privilege of being mentored by Douglas Moore and studying composition with Jack Beeson and Otto Looning. In 1953, John earned his master's degree from Columbia University, solidifying his foundation as a composer. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.